All right, guys. Um, some news coming out of athletics now. Apparently, Mr. Carter is in trouble after retiring. So it's kind of a confusing story. Um, it's coming out of the gleaner. It says Nesta Carter in anti-doping trouble again. All right. This is coming out now. This is hot off the press. All right. It says the RJR Gleaner Group understands that Carter will face an independent anti-doping disciplinary panel on Thursday, October 14, after testing positive for a banned substance recently. All right. His legal representative, Stuart Simpson, however, declined to give details on the substance or the nature of the positive test. All right, so details are still sketchy, but it's not good news. All right, <clears throat> to be honest with you, we all know that um, Nestor is at the end of his career and uh, has been having some medical issues. I understand and has been forced to retire because of those medical issues. All right. His legal representative, Stuart Simpson, however, declined to give details on the substance or the nature of the positive test, as we said before. The IADP will be headed by Kent Gammon and will also feature Mr. Jaffet Ford and um, or Dr. Jaffet Ford and Heron Dale. But the hearing referred to the body by the Jamaica Anti-Doping Commission will be conducted virtually because of COVID-19, all right? <clears throat> Carter's first case came in 2016 and regarded a retroactive positive finding for a banned substance. Um, this is methylexamine or methylexanamine, something from the Beijing Olympic Games in 2008, where he was a member of Jamaica's gold medal winning 4x100 relay team with Usain Bolt. Asafa Powell and Michael Freito. The team was since disqualified and stripped of its medal by the International Olympic Committee. All right. So this is not the first time and we have lost medals because of this. All right. Carter went to the Court of Arbitration for Sport to appeal the decision three years ago, but was not successful. All right. Carter, who turned 36 years old on Monday, is the ninth fastest man of all time and the fourth fastest Jamaica over 100 meters. With a personal best of 9.78 seconds, he officially announced his retirement in August, just recently. All right. At the time of the announcement, he said that a medical condition which required treatment by a drug that violates anti doping rules prescribed by his doctors forced his decision. Could it be the same drug? You know what I mean? You know how um, the doping rules are. Even if it's a medical, even if it's a medical condition, if it gives you some kind of advantage, it's not allowed. It's very unfortunate and sorry to hear about it. And I hope it's not anything worse than how it sounds. You know what I mean? Nesta had a, a, um, a somewhat a good career. It was marred, and he lost um, a medal. And it caused his teammates to lose a medal, but at the same time, you know what I mean? Unfortunate that he had to retire due to the medical condition, and hopefully it's nothing more than that in, um, in this anti-doping case, all right? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you next time.